We bless you. We praise you. We worship you. We honor you. We give our life to you. Fresh and new this morning. In great anticipation of what the Holy Spirit would reveal to us, say to us as the church, your people are hungry. We desire to hear your words, Lord, and to act upon them. We thank you, Father God, for the power that's resident in those words. And so, Lord, we look to you this morning. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes and our ears to see and to hear. And we do thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. All right, you found Habakkuk? Yes, sir. <laughs> Habakkuk chapter 2. Praise the Lord. Now, you're familiar with this. Verse 4 said, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so the person who is prideful, lifted up in themselves, um, is, uh, is not correct. Hallelujah. So who is correct? The just are the ones who live by faith. Hallelujah. Well, that's given to us in that text. That's given to us four times. But if you take it in a liberal, uh, very loose translation, actually five times in the Bible. One time in the Old Testament, four times in the New Testament. And we'll just review them right quick. Go with me, if you would, to Romans chapter 1. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 1, verse 17 says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. God's right ways are revealed. From faith to faith. As it is written. The just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so we're just quoting from Habakkuk there. Galatians chapter 3. We just want to, I just want to show you these places in the Bible. I'm sure you're probably familiar with them, but it doesn't hurt to review, does it? No. Nope. Um, Galatians, I'm sorry. Galatians chapter 3, verse 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. Okay, it's not by works. It's not by your smarts, your money, your good looks, or anything else. It's by faith in the word of God. Verse 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident. For the just shall live faith. That's the third time. Go to Hebrews. Hebrews. <laughs> Chapter 10. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Verse 38. Now, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. It's talking, it's clarifying in Habakkuk that God is speaking of the second coming of Jesus Christ. And to be ready, be prepared. To be in faith. And this, in Hebrews, if you read it in context there, clarifies that. Uh, we're not going to take the time to do so this morning. But um. So four times we've seen the exact phrase. The just shall live by faith. Well, he, Habakkuk said the just shall live by his faith. The other three times the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. If I can get there. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. If you walk, then you're alive, so you live. Yes. So loosely, we can say this ties in with those other four. We live by faith, not by sight. But the correct translation, of course, is we walk by faith. But if we're walking, then our life is in a life of faith. Yes. So we live by faith. Yes. So five times we see God exhorting us through the word, one time Old Testament, four times New Testament, that we are to live or walk by faith. 
Now, if God says something five times in the Bible yeah. by five different people, I would say we should take heed to it. Yeah. I mean, it must have some importance behind it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. And if you'll notice, the majority of them are the New Testament. Right? Amen. Glory to God. God is good. Isn't it? Praise the Lord. Well, while you're in 2 Corinthians, look over to chapter 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 tells us, examine yourselves. It doesn't say examine your neighbor. <laughs> it says examine yourself. Right? Yes, sir. Well, a lot of us are out and looking at everybody else. Right. Glory to God. Amen, Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Glory to God. So check yourself out whether you're really living by faith or you just think you are. Or maybe you don't even think you are. You're just living. Or you think you're living. But really you're walking dead. Hallelujah. Examine yourselves. Amen. Now, I would bring to your remembrance the 8th chapter of Romans where it says, There is therefore now no condemnation yeah. to those who are in Christ Jesus because I'm not telling you to badger yourself. The scriptures are not telling you to beat yourself up. They're saying on a wholesome, godly fashion, sober up, take a look at what's happening in your life, and see if you're really living by faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, a lot of people, they're just always down in the dumps because they keep looking at everything they've done wrong. If I look at all the things I've done Amen. wrong, I'd be in the dumps, too. Amen, <laughs> Thank God they're under the blood. Amen. stay in those situations. Thank you, Lord. If there's a problem, then I just get corrected. I allow God's correction. I allow the Word to work in my life. And I get myself out of it by the help and power of the Holy Spirit instead of staying in it. But I sure don't beat myself up over it and give up and quit. Amen. Tuck tail and run or whatever you want to say. However, it is a necessary thing that we need, according to the Word of God, to look at ourselves daily Amen. and see in each situation. Overall, it's good, but you need to also check it out in every situation you find yourself in, whether or not you are in the faith. <laughs> and he goes on to say, prove your own selves. Hallelujah. <laughs> know you not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobates. Glory to God. Let me just review some faith facts with you. Just a few. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith is. Hallelujah. So, if faith is now, then why are we always speaking about future? God's going to do this. He's going to do that. Come on now. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? I think if you're going to examine to see whether you're really living by faith, you need to examine what you believe, of course, and what you're saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you're on that bandwagon where God's always going to do it, then that's what you're going to get. Yep. Is God a God that's always just going to do it? Yeah. But you can't never figure out quite why he doesn't do it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Why? Because you think you're in faith, but you're really not in faith. Right, right. Hallelujah. So Hebrews 11 one says, Now faith is. Now faith is. 
I am says I am, so I am. Now faith is. Faith is now. You got to remember that. It's real simple, but you, you, you have to apply it. When you're facing situations, when you're seeing problems brewing, when you're having pressure on your life, you've got to take the word of God as now, having been done on your behalf. Not that it's going to do it, but it's been done. And you appropriate it by faith. It's through grace by faith. God did it. You tap into it. Glory to God. Praise him. Praise him. And so you've got to remember that faith is now. I see a lot of people that are in hope. Uh -oh. There is a blessed hope, a Bible hope. That is very real, very true. And that is that when the Bible says something, it is real. It's true. Your eyes may not see it, but it's done. Hallelujah. But there's also a hope of the world. And that's what most people are think of when they think of hope. And that hope is merely a chance, a 50-50 chance. Well, did you get your rent money? I hope so. They're really just saying it could happen, it could not happen. Did you get your healing? I sure hope so. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's a 50-50 chance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Did you get a word from the Lord? I hope so. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope God comes through for me. You know, I've been praying and fasting. Mm -hmm. That's real religious sounding. Yeah. But whenever it's future, it's hope. And hope that is seen is not hope anymore. Hallelujah. That's what Romans tells us in the 8th chapter. So faith is now. And if you believe you have it now, even though your eyes don't see it right now, but if you believe you have it now, then your mouth will say it. That you have it now. And nobody can take it away from you. Now, you have the naysayers that will try to take it away from you. But you know that you have it. Because God did it for you. Praise the Lord. Now, he didn't just single you out to do it for you. He did it for all of us. You just happened to take hold of it by faith. That's good news. Faith is now. So, in, since you're in Hebrews 11, look on down. We've been talking about this in understanding the will of God. Verse 3 says, through faith we understand. Okay? Through faith we understand. What that's saying is that if you are outside of faith, you'll misunderstand. Amen. Glory to God. Amen, this is why God said five different times in one way or another that your life is in faith. Amen. I mean, godly life. Real life, eternal life, life more abundant. It's found in faith. Yeah. faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay? Yeah. Not in my reasoning. I may be smart in some ways, maybe not. But my reasoning tries to tell me I'm smarter than God many times. <laughs> it does. And I have to be sharp enough to know the word. Yeah. And put that spirit in its place. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right now, maybe if I was raised in a church that uh, was a legalistic type church, mm -hmm. had to wear my hair a certain way, Come on now. my clothes a certain way, mm -hmm. had to do certain things to get God to uh, approve me, mm -hmm. then that would carry over. And maybe you're now trying to live a life of faith. Well, the law will only let you see inside. It won't get you over. It won't get you in. Right. Hallelujah. Because the law is the right way. Hallelujah. But nobody can live it except Jesus. They right. right. for Jesus. Right. He, lived, he lived it for us. Fulfilled it. 
nailed it to that cross. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, it's understanding comes to a life of faith. If you're not living a life of faith, you will not understand the Bible. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you some real simple facts. You might not like what I'm saying, but I'm just telling you the truth. Because I love you. Okay, we're going to talk more about understanding through faith in a minute. But let's continue on some faith facts. Look in 1 John chapter 5. Now you need to know these things in your heart. 1 John chapter 5 verse 4 said, For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Okay? So, in the world, there's trouble, tribulation, right? In the world system, there's problems. There's big problems brewing. Hallelujah. But, through faith, you overcome that system. Listen to me. You overcome that way of life, of death, doom, destruction, disaster, calamity. By faith, you have a ticket out. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you believe. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So. This is the victory that overcomes the problems I see. Well, that's the world, right? The world has the problems. So this is the victory that overcomes those things. Our faith. Hallelujah. So how do I get this faith? Do I pray for it? You could, but you won't get it that way. Praise the Lord. Used to, we used to think, well, if we pray for more faith, we should God would give us more. But the Bible tells us that to each man has been given the measure of faith. Yeah. The measure of faith. That's right. Not a measure of faith. A measure of faith would mean that he give Wendy a measure, a certain amount. Give Pastor James a measure, be a certain amount. Mm-hmm. Me a measure, mm-hmm. not so much. Right. William Ezra, he got a bunch. <laughs> but it says, the measure of faith. The measure. The measure of faith means that we all got the same. That's right, that's right. To start with. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But I believe from study of the scriptures that that measure of faith is actually the word of God. We've all been given the Word of God. And we all have the ability to study and read and partake of the Word of God. To what degree we put this priority in our life, to what degree we say this is more important than watching TV, shopping, playing sports then that's the measure that we measure. Hallelujah. Now I don't have time to get all into that. If you don't agree with that, it's fine. You can think of measures whatever you want, but the the key to that is the measure is the same. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So that's what I want you to remember out of that. Romans 10. Look at Romans 10. Glory to God. God is no respecter of persons, right? Amen. What he does for Andrew, he'll do for me. Amen. Yes, he will. Thank Pastor. God. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Romans chapter 10, mm-hmm. verse 17. Mm-hmm. So then, faith cometh by hearing, yeah. and hearing by the word of God. Faith is resident 
in the Word of God. You want more faith? Get more Word. You can bawl and squall at the altar all you want asking for it. You can fast until you're blue in the face. But faith comes by hearing the Word of God. Now, prayer will help you to hear it, and fasting will help you to hear it. So I'm not against those things. No. But you've got to understand faith is resident. It's seated in the Word. So when I hear this Word, when I really hear it, faith is in there. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so... Five times God says I'm going to live or walk by faith. Mm -hmm. So I've got to understand faith because I want to do what God says. He says I'm not going to understand spiritual things unless I'm in faith. Living, walking in faith. Okay? So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Yes. See, think about this. Faith comes from hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you hear a lot of things during the day, yes, you do. right? You hear yourself talking to yourself. You hear the devil talking. You hear people talking. You hear the radio. You hear TV. You hear some garbage, some good stuff. You hear a lot of things during the day. Yeah. So he, he, he clarifies that. He doesn't just say faith comes by hearing the word of God. He says, and hearing by yes. the word of God. Yes. In other words, the word of God speaks. It's alive. It's active. It's powerful. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Glory to God. Yes, it is. So it's not just hearing, but it's hearing what the word is saying. Praise God. Mm. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. That's where faith is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There's a lot of people that read the Bible and they have no faith. There's a lot of people that study the Bible. They've got doctorates behind their name. Yes. But I question their salvation on some of them. Because there's no faith. I, I still can't help but think that it's 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 an amazing thing. I, I don't know. Don't get mad at me if you're Catholic background. But how do we know the Pope is saved? We know. I mean, you would have to publicly say, "I am born again." Otherwise, it's just religion. It does good work, sure. They have great <laughs> functions and do great things and help people and kids all over the world. But that's not salvation. Glory to God. That's back into that life of works. Glory to God. It's a sad thought to think that in many churches today, in our area, there are men standing behind this pulpit this morning that have never met Jesus personally. Well, that's a scary thought. Isn't it? Well, they got people following them. Yes, yes, they do. Now, I don't know. There are two branches of the Presbyterians. They split off some time back because one was more liberal and the other one wasn't as liberal in their thinking. But I don't know which one. But this past, I don't know, a couple of weeks, uh, they they accepted for homosexual marriage in the church. I don't know which one. It's one of the Presbyterian. Shortly thereafter, I don't know if it's the same one or what. Shortly thereafter, they denounced Israel. Yeah. They said that uh, Israel's wrong. Don't support them anymore. Yes, sir. By faith, we understand. If you have people leading the body of Christ that have no faith, they don't understand. Yes, sure 
spiritual things. Yes, sir, God. And the blind leads the blind, they fall into the ditch. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Living or walking by or in faith is more than just an acknowledgement or an amen. It is. It is. It's so much more. But there's a lot of people that like to hear what faith people have to say, yes. but they don't want to live it. No. Uh-oh. Well, I was that way for years. Uh-oh. I thought you guys were weird. Uh-oh. Me too, Pastor. Uh-oh. I thought y'all were strange because, you know, you try to control your conversation. I thought, why would anybody do that? And I read the Bible every day. I read the same scriptures I read today. But I wasn't to the point of hearing yeah. what they had to say. Yeah. It's different. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It's more than an amen. It's more than God. We find that in Matthew, the 23rd chapter. Look there with me. Matthew 23. Matthew chapter 23, mm -hmm. verse 1. Then spake Jesus to the multitude. And to his disciples, saying. So he spoke to the multitude and to his own. Okay, it's to everybody. Saying, verse 2, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe. Mm -hmm. That was the, the word of God. That observe and do. But do not ye after their works. Yeah. Right. For they say and do not. Okay, they, they said the word, but they had no action behind it. Right. They weren't living it. Right. Okay? Right. Now, there's a lot of that going on today. Unfortunately, the body of Christ is so mixed with the world system and religious teaching that it's difficult for them to separate. Why is that? Well, you turn on the TV and you get a potpourri of every mixture imaginable, doctrine-wise. And so you sit there and you watch that thing and you listen to it and you get Mix seed. In your garden, you get a little corn, you get a little wheat, you get a few tares, then you get a lot of tares, and you get some weeds. Now, if you walked up to your garden like that, how much fruit is that garden going to bear? Not much. Why is that? Because it was mixed seed. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is one way. His name is Jesus. Yes. There's one interpretation of this scripture. It's by the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the understanding, the interpretation of that comes by a life of faith. And let me tell you, just, just to clear the record so you don't think that I think I know it all, I certainly don't. I know the one who does know it all. But, yeah. I, don't. Amen. Yeah. Amen. but I can tell you that my understanding changes. And some things I preached 15 years ago, I wouldn't hesitate. I wouldn't even dare to let it come off my lips today. Amen. And all I can do is thank God for the blood of Jesus yeah. over Because I didn't understand back then what I understand today. And I'm sure 10 years from today, I'll look back and have better understand, better have, better understand yeah. than what I have today. Yeah. Amen. So there's nothing wrong with the development. Mm -hmm. We're going to develop. Thank if you're not developing, something's wrong. Thank you, Jesus. So no condemnation, but what you must do is examine yourself to see if you're really living a life of faith. Or are you just reasoning it? You're just agreeing with it. You just let it tickle your ears and I like it. Amen. Glory to God. Just wish it worked. I can tell you God's word works. Yes, I can tell you that his word is not chance. 
It's not the world's hope, 50-50 chance. God's word works yeah. every time. If you can find it in the pages of this Bible, it's yours. Yes, it is. Praise God. Hallelujah. Works. Glory to God. Well, I'm out of time. But we'll talk more on it again. This is just basics. This is just basics. Very, very, very bottom level, round one, basics 101 class of faith. But we have to review it. We have to. I found myself in a situation this past week. I had something happen. And uh, I walk my faith. I live my faith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I blow it from time to time. Yeah, we all do. And uh, something happened, and it set me back. I thought that I had faith. But when this happened, it was like, boom. It's like, whoa. I can't, I can't even function. Not the regular way, a regular function. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's knocked me for a tremendous loop. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, sir. Maybe you've never had that happen. I hope you don't have Oh, that. yes, I have. But it did happen to me. And so as much as I could, listen to me. I know the things to do. Basics. So I did them as much as I could. Yeah. I didn't go belly aching to everybody. I didn't call everybody on the phone, tell them, woe is me, how bad this is. I didn't even tell the wife. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hallelujah. Me and God had to work this out. Yes. Mostly me. Yes. <laughs> He's already worked it out. Yes. But I didn't know it. And so anyway, I got the victory Praise for the most God. part. Okay. The next day rolls around, and the problem's resolved. Mm -hmm. It was already resolved the day before. I just didn't know it, but I got knowledge that the problem had been resolved the next day. I felt like a complete idiot. <laughs> because where is my faith? Come on, pal. Listen to me. Now, if you haven't walked through this, you might. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What I'm saying is, I thought I could handle things oh, yeah. pretty good. In other words, through faith, mm -hmm. through God. Mm -hmm. But I saw my heart. You know, God says sometimes these things would happen so that the Israelites could see their heart. Yes, Lord. Because you can't see your own self many you times. You can't. Now, God didn't make it happen to me that way because God had already given the answer. I just couldn't find the answer. Amen. But the answer was there the day it happened. Yeah. You understand? It was oh, literally yeah. there. Oh, yeah. But it knocked me for a loop mm -hmm. for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the next day when I found the answer, I said, Lord, I am so sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But at least I know I got to get some more word. Oh, yes. Yeah. I realize yeah. I got to hear some oh, more word. Hallelujah. I'm not near where I need to be. No, yes, I'm Lord. not. No, I'm hallelujah. Not. No, I'm not. Thank you, Jesus. So that's why I started back on the basics today. We're just going to review. God. And we're going to take the basics. Yeah. And we're going to learn to live yeah. by faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Walking by faith yeah. in victory yeah. over the world yeah. system. Yes. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you so much that you teach and train us. We thank you, Lord, that you've done it all for us. It's already there, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you lead us, you guide us by your word, by your spirit. We thank you that we are sons of God because we are led by your spirit. And, Lord, we thank you that we keep our eyes on the prize, Jesus Christ. Pressing toward the mark of the prize the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And Father, we'll not faint, we'll not give up, we'll not look back, we'll not fall into condemnation, but we'll press on from faith to faith. And this is the righteousness you said, Lord, your righteousness, 
from faith to faith. Yes. And so, Lord, we thank you that you hold our hand and walk us through it. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I love you guys. <laughs>